Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Bright Hockey Center for tonight's ECAC battle between the Quinnipiac Bobcats and our own Harvard Crimson. A battle of two teams at opposite ends of the standings tonight as number one Quinnipiac comes to town to take on the Crimson. Puck left behind the net here. Dangerous play behind. Puck loose in front, and it's in. Quinnipiac takes the lead after Harvard has trouble getting it out from behind. UU unable to strike there. Harvard still looking for the equalizer. Shot and a goal! Chris Kulo strikes again. Harvard's got to press on here. Forecheck forces a turnover here. In over the left side, score! Crimson win! Harvard pulls this one out and they've beaten the number one team in the country. Harvard two, Quinnipiac one. I thought our effort was there all night. I mean, I think the maybe the you know last four minutes of the second period after they score, I thought we went into a little bit of a shell and they had a little bit of jump. But other than that, I thought uh, you know we hung in there uh, you know shot for shot with them and had some great chances, uh, great looks. You know, that was a good hockey game. Obviously, we got a lot of respect. Uh, Quinnipiac's a great team, but. Uh, you know, it's nice uh, on our seniors, mm -hmm. you know, final uh, home weekend here to get a, get a one versus the number one team in the first country. Time they... I mean, obviously coming in, we knew they were uh, number one seed in the nation, so um, gave us a little more jump, and um, we've been play, playing well as of late, and we know that they haven't seen us um, in full throttle. So um, I think we were just trying to get on their defensemen and play like we've been playing and uh, spending a lot of time in their offensive zone. And, I think we started to wear them down later in the game. Got a lot more opportunities, and obviously Raf played great in that, so it was a good team effort. It was a three on two, but their D were pretty wide, so when Marsh hit me hit me late, um, it's kind of a two on one with me and Hartsey. Um, I knew that their goalie would probably be thinking I, I might pass it, so I wanted to <coughs> pull the puck back, make sure he knew I had the opportunity to pass it if I wanted to, and um, I kind of just tried to go short side and look at him. Uh, I think it's huge. Uh, great momentum shifter, especially going into the postseason. And uh, I mean, we uh, we haven't had that much luck in uh, in overtime games in uh, past years, so uh, really felt great. And I uh, think we can use this uh, momentum and uh, carry it in tomorrow's game and then throughout the rest of the season. Greg Gosman made a nice play pressuring their D, and uh, he fumbled it. Jimmy picked it up, and uh, I just. I just waited on the back door and I didn't even have to move my stick. I just put it right there and I just tipped it in. So uh, I think it was a great, it was a great play just overall from uh, all five guys on the ice, just mm -hmm. putting up pressure on them up ice. 